I'm glad that you want to learn Chinese. So, how do you pronounce this character? You may say, I don't know. There's no syllables to guide me in the pronunciation. That's right. Chinese characters are not presented with syllables like English. How about I use the letters A, I to represent the word? The letters A, I give you the guideline on how to pronounce the word, and this is called a pinyin. Before we continue, I would like to share with you some history about pinyin. In 1949, when the People's Republic of China was established, the country was still in a difficult situation, and the literacy rate dropped continuously. The government spent a few years developing and testing the best system to help Chinese citizens learn and read Chinese. At the end, they agreed that using a letter's alphabet to represent the sounds of Chinese characters worked best for them. And this is how Pinyin was created. Now that we know Pinyin was intentionally created for Chinese citizens, we need to read the letters alphabet the Chinese way, because some of the sounds are different. For English speakers, you will find L is pronounced L, O N G is pronounced O N. Anyway, Pinyin is a helpful tool and the most effective way to learn Mandarin, especially for Chinese people. Pinyin is a gift. With pinyin, instead of using characters, Chinese people can type using letters to express themselves in Chinese on the internet and on their smartphones. A basic pinyin has three elements: an initial, 声母 a final, 韵母 and a tone, 声调 There are twenty-one initials, plus two special initials, twenty-four finals, and four tones. Plus one neutral tone. An initial is the beginning. A final is the ending, and the tone is always placed on top of the final. The good news is that overall, Pinyin is pretty straightforward. Each syllable represents only one Chinese character, and consists of two to six letters. All right, let me show you how initials, finals, and tones work together in Pinyin. The word long. It's made up of an initial, a final, and a tone. Remember, the initial L is pronounced as L, and the final O N G is pronounced as Ong. And with the second tone, Long, 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 it is Long, Long. I know you're still a bit confused. That's okay. I'm just showing you how Pinyin works, and we will do many practices together in future videos. Before we say goodbye, let me share with you how tones work. The combination of initials and finals can form 413 syllables in common use, and they can represent thousands of Chinese characters. How? Because of tones. When an initial and a tone match together, they form a syllable. And the syllable can mean at least four different things, depending on which tone of the four you use. And of course, some words share the same tone but have different meanings and are written differently. Tones seem to be the most challenging task for Pinyin learner. Again, I will share with you tricks and tips about Pinyin pronunciation. Along with the lessons and exercises I provide, I need you to spend some time learning and understanding Pinyin on your own. That's all for today. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. I will see you on the next video. Happy learning! Bye.